Hey friends, it's time for a rave review. Okay, up first, I'm gonna give you a pop quiz. Okay, if I said, Cindy, Linda, Naomi, Christy, do you know who I'm talking about? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Supermodels, of course. If you're thinking supermodels, you're right. A new four-part docu-series about the models of the late 80s, early 90s, and how they became supermodels drops on Apple TV Plus today. Now, these women reinvented what models were and took their modelness to a whole new level of fame with endorsements, pop culture icons, and really, when you think about the influencers of today, they were the original influencers. If you love these models as much as I did back in the day, you're gonna love this. Take a look at the trailer. It's the first time we're all together in our 50s. You see our photo, so you feel that you know us. When you come together with your chosen family, I think that's emotional. There's something about that shared history that we have. I feel blessed that we're here today. We've all gone through so many things in our own lives. We get this phone call that George Michael wants to shoot us in his video. We made a decision, I will do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes, okay, I'll do it. Freedom! Everything changed. Freedom! You can start to call the shots and be an active participant in your career. All of a sudden, we were the physical representations of power. I wanted to go further. I wanted to push the envelope. They brought their artistry to the image. They would see things we didn't necessarily see. That's what a supermodel is. This is fascinating because we all, if you were alive during that time, you remember that, that, that fad of like the supermodel and they were everywhere and they were, because usually at the time it was either movie stars, pop stars, but then to have these models be at the same level as like, you know, the Madonnas and the Michael Jacksons and the, and the Tom Cruises and all the stars of the day. But what's funny is they tell their story about how they became models. And here's, I was talking to producer Jake this morning about it. To me, the most fascinating thing is all, I think I think all of them, if not all, or maybe three or four, all happen by accident. Like, how do you accidentally become a accidentally become a model, become a supermodel, and become an icon of that generation? Their stories are fascinating because they actually show like their very first headshot. And I told Jake, I'm like, I'll be honest, may, I'm not a model talent scout because if I would have seen them, I would have been like. How do you, how did that become the icon that they are? Cindy Crawford, I think, is. Well, all of them are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I remember being little things, things, Cindy Crawford, she was on the Pepsi commercial. She was everywhere and she was just all American gorgeous. And they talk about the different looks that they have and the things they were modeling and who was right for what look. But to me, it's like, how do you accidentally become a supermodel? It's fascinating to me how they achieved it. And by the way, Cindy Crawford's story, she dropped out of being a model, was going to school to be like a scientist. She is so smart. And then about second year in, she uh, left school to be, do the model thing, but she is like brilliant. And all the ladies are great. Here's the best part though. You're seeing them, their story, how they're told, but then you're seeing them today and how they're aging beautifully, naturally, gracefully. They look amazing, they're still friends. And seeing them together and reminiscing about those days, it reminds me of my favorite quote, I think it's from The Office, is, I wish you, were, you knew you were in the good old days before you left them. And it's so true because you look back on certain time periods going, I wish I knew I had it so good. I wish I would have cherished that moment just a little bit more. And they're just reliving some of these moments together and they're so sweet. And again, I don't know them personally, but the docu-series is amazing and you get to learn about that era and kind of reflect and feel a little bit nostalgic. And I know Kenya was saying she loved that time period too. So it's great for the nostalgia, Kenya. I think you'll like it. Okay, uh, that's on Apple TV Plus today. Now let's take a look at what's coming up Friday. This Friday is a new season of Love is Blind, it's season five. Now, technically, I'll be honest, I'm not allowed to review the show until Friday, but I'm allowed to talk about general generalities of the show. But before I give you a general idea, take a look at the trailer. I just wanna be loved unconditionally. I'm always gonna think about you for the rest of my life. Women are getting territorial. When you love somebody, you don't just leave without telling them anything. Welcome to Love is Blind. <laughs> What's up, what's up? I could be finding my wife here. When are you gonna propose to me? <laughs> <laughs> my heart's pounding, but it's not in a bad way. Uh, okay. Did you just burp? I did. Was that oh a good one? God. Was that a good one? <laughs> I was just curious what till 1.30 would be interested in a 24-year-old. It's phony. 
We need to go over everything, the savings, the checking, salary. Love is blind, I get that. But sometimes love wants to fly first class. Wow. Everything's just falling into place right now. The path to love is not a straight line. In the past, I've been cold too much, but I think that I am the right amount of me. No matter what, you fight for each other. Okay, I can't review it, but I can say this. This season is shocking. There are three things that happen in this season, I've watched every season, that have never happened before on Love is Blind. Three things that I went, huh? That's all I can say. The first part of this drops Friday on Netflix, but I seriously was in shock, and I feel like it's even more real than ever. That's all I can say. Okay, let's move on, because Monday night, we're so excited about Premiere Week uh, right here on Fox. Special Forces, World's Toughest Test Season 2, kicks off at 8 o'clock on Fox Monday night. More celebrities are back, put to the test to overcome fears, deal with personal trauma, and hopefully overcome all these personal obstacles, become stronger, better people. And who better than to train with than with military experts who are awesome and can push you to your limits? This is a heart-pumping trailer. Take a look. For the celebrities coming out on this course, the cold is going to be the great equalizer. My heart is open. As I walk. This is far beyond anything I'm about to experience in my life. I am Why are you here? The whole country's pissed off at me. I had an affair and I want to take a beating. Few of you, if any, will remain at the end of this course. I want to see what I'm capable of doing. This is gonna be challenging. Physically. My legs are numb. Use my heart. I can't do it. I can't do it. And emotionally. Use my heart. What's on your heart right now, my man? Uh, my daughter drowned in our neighbor's pool. I guess um, if I want clarity. I can't believe that. I just wish I could be a stronger person. You've come to the right place. It's gonna be a big drop. Hope you prepare for this. <laughs> I hard times as there is here there's also a lot of accomplishment I don't think I could do this show. Um, I'm excited about Tom Sandoval from uh, Vanderpump Rules, Savannah Chrisley, Chrisley knows best, Tara Reed. Very excited about this. This is Monday night on Fox starting at 8. I, I do like it. I don't know if I could physically do it, though. Can you? Ooh, it, and it, it yeah. feels a little heavy at yeah. times, but yes, it looks so And then quickly, Farmhouse Facelift, season three. I love you Billy. Love it. I love this show so much. It's on Hulu, season three. Billy and Carolyn are back and love them. Don't go anywhere. anywhere. We'll be back with Michael Babcock coming up.